Hey everyone, uh, Light Brawler here once again, and no, we did not forget about Brock the Investigator. We, after our little Splatoon time shenanigans, we're back with more Brock uh, the Investigator. So last time we finished Chapter 2, we basically escaped the jail, but we missed out on Graph Science Fair Project, and we kind of got scolded by him. But we made up for it with a very great dinner, and then we started Chapter 3 after having to uh, deal with another fight with a mysterious woman. But Chapter 3, which we're still on right now, we have to actually get parts for Shay. We've gotten... In the last stream, I was able to get five of them, but the sixth one that I did off-stream, which was the uh, crane machine thing, where you have to, like, go through... Bleh, words. Where you have to go through all the garbage. And we managed to take care of that as well. But we also have things to do for the uh, director and for Wes, and that's on the list of things that we have to do, but from Graf's side, we managed to actually get through his second trial, and that was actually a lot of, like, trickiness and a lot of, like, logic-based things, but, uh, now we're having to actually go to a dark alleyway to actually find, uh, what we're needing for the... For, not only for Shay's stuff, but we're also trying to actually get a specific, uh, part for the director, so... We have to go to the hacker backstreet, which I didn't go to the last time. So we're at, and I think the last of the parts that uh, Shay needs is gonna probably be back here. So let's uh, mosey on over. Oh, the smell! Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice in an alley. The hacker should be around here. I better find him quickly before he gets sick. Yep, that we have to actually do, but we need to also. Try to look around the radar. Oop. Uh oh. Going somewhere, crack? Go away. I don't want any trouble. Ah, then you shouldn't have caused us trouble in the first place. What? Don't play the fool with us. You show no respect to the boss. You attacked the boss. And humiliated him. Yeah, I remember. He asked for it. No one attacks the boss and gets away with it. Get out of my way before I... Before you what? You can't escape us. You're gonna get the beating you deserve. Oh yeah? I beg to differ. Come and get me. You're dead meat! We need to, like... Oh, we have invincibility frames. Oh, we need to have some... Oh, we didn't have the invincibility frame there. <laughs> now who got humiliated, huh? It's humiliated, you dumb. Yeah, well, he's all stiff and cold. Let's bring that carcass to the boss. We'll get a reward. Yeah. Oh, boy. That was not what I wanted. I probably should have just rested. I forgot how much help I had. That smell and that familiar sensation of, like, I lost a fight? Left to die? Ah, better move on quick. Got a bad feeling about this place. What? Uh, okay. Did we just do the time warp? Let's just rest really quick. Before I regret it, maybe I should take a. All right, let's go. I was like, well, that happened, I guess. It's like you know, time somehow worked. All 
That's not what I want. Hey, it's RJ. RJ? You! Because of you! All your fault! You mean... Ah, I get it. Wes did mention firing you earlier. Yeah. Then... Uh, how come you've still got your police attire? The boss Wes wanted me to keep him. Is that so? Who are you working for, then? Not your business. Oh, come on. It's obvious you're guarding this entrance. Get lost! Uh, he won't tell, but two to one, the man I'm looking for is inside. Good job, Brock. You've ruined yet another existence. I give up. Good. Well, partially I want to see... Uh, for some reason, I knew there'd be cables underneath those pipes. All right, perfect. We actually... Seems broken. All right, good. We actually found the last part that we needed. Grand opening soon. Hmm. Is that an untail statue? It has seen better days. Maybe there's something inside it, like an ad. Oh, my apology to whoever built that statue. Oh, well, to be fair, I just finished the job. Time would have had the same effect eventually. That is correct. Looks like one of those retractable benches. Looks like one of those re Looks like one of those Those clothes are ripped and dirty. Must have been hanging here for ages. Uh, I don't think they would mind if someone took it, but I'm too far away anyway. Yeah, I could have a use for that string. Ah, it ripped in half. Oh well, that should be enough. Hmm, has this always been here? Well, that's uh, weird. Let's actually head back to Shay's and give her the last parts. Now that we have it, and we're done with her. Which ad do you need? Actually, I did not want to talk to you both. There you go. Take this. You found all the materials? Good. That's all? Good? Amazing job. You just literally saved the world. No, the universe. Don't overdo it. Oh, but I'm not. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't found them? Hmm. Here's your remuneration. That ought to buy an ant burger or two. All right, so we got 200 more units. So now that we got that objective out of the way, we need to just try to go back to the back street. Oh, we get put back to the other side with RJ. Interesting. Let's see. Door, statue, wings. I'll take Who knows? They might come in handy. Plastic wings. Okay, so that door isn't interactable. <gasps> yep, nothing here. An old rubber made pipe. Past rulers made heavy use of these in the slums as a cheaper alternative before they realized they crumbled into pieces after a few years. Uh, nice job, soldier. You didn't move an inch. Mm. Uh, I guess he was never in the military. Let's say I'm not me. You not you? Yeah, I'm someone else. Oh! Can I enter then? No, you're a croc. No croc allowed. But I said I'm not me. Uh-oh. Stop confusing me. 
So we can either convince, distract, or provoke. Let's try to convince first. Listen, I'm truly sorry you lost your job. I never meant for this to happen. Hooey <laughs> baloney. Just needed to get out of that cell by any means possible. You see, I have a son. Don't care. I made a promise to him. I just couldn't break it. Liar. No use. Gotta try something else. So we can try to use a distraction or to provoke. I don't want to use too much violence, but in this case, we if push comes to shove, we really, like, uh, can't do anything about it. I don't think that the cat fur is going to be... We could pull that up a second time. Look! Over there! A flying pink elephant! Oh? Can enter. Uh... Hey, where is that elephant? He, uh, must have flown away. Oh. What was that? Here's for you. What is? Doesn't matter. No. <sighs> yeah? Well, you got what you deserved, you fat meanie. What? Oh, did I say meanie? I meant menial. Do I have to show the cat fur again? Stay away, or I'll get sick. Well, that didn't work. I'll come back. You better. We might have to use a hint. Press that lever inside Shay's garage, near the entrance to the right. Let me guess. Hmm. Must be for closing the garage door? Hmm? Nothing seems to be happening. Huh? What's that noise? N nothing I just walked into some metal scrap. You know your garage could use some tidying. I never lose anything. Watch your step, bro. Better take that lever before she notices. A lever? We're running out of ads. I'm not gonna be able to leak. I don't want to leak. But what could I use the lever for? It may actually be what I need to open up the stretch container. Yeah. No. Nope. Hmm. When it's exactly... Oh, my apologies. Oh, to be... Grand... Hmm. We're not really getting anywhere. Yeah, we're running out of ads. We need to buy more, because otherwise I'm going to be, like, really being blind. What's up? Um, I, uh... Oh, my rubber cutter! I figured you might have taken it. Rubber cutter? Well, yeah. What else could it be? So, not a lever? It was inside that slot on the wall. Of course. 
course. I always put it there so I don't lose it. Oh. It cuts only through rubber. No risk to damage other materials. So, give it back. Wait, I might have a use for it. What? But you didn't even know what this was. Now I do. Please, pretty please. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'll manage. Keep it for now. Awesome. Um. <laughs> You're the best. Don't mention it. Aw. This might come in handy when fighting rubber bots. I'll leave you two. Uh... See ya. Okay, so... Hmm. This part is still intact. Let's try cutting here. Then the other side. Perfect. A chunk of pipe. I think we need something else, so that way we could have that flying elephant plan to work. Oh. Cool, we found an ad. Uh. Oh, uh, to be fair. Yeah, I think we need to find something else. You're all set. Just combine the string to the wings, then the result to the... Yep. And it looks good. Hmm. I'll attach this end of the string to the pipe. Yeah. That should do it. A disguise. Perfect. So that will make that conviction. I think. Who are you? What you want? <coughs> May I enter? You're an elephant. Yep. I I mean, uh, <coughs> yes, uh, obviously. Hmm. All right. Enter. Good. Cool. What the? Who the heck are you? The gloom, isn't it? I need your help. You shouldn't be here. The guard let you enter? Well, I'm an elephant. Tend to see? An elephant. Hey, you idiot. Why did you let that one get through? Duh, this is what you told me. Uh? So that's your job. You stay here and guard the door. Nobody enters unless I tell you otherwise. Nobody? I can't enter? No, you stay outside. What about cats? I hate cats. No cats. Then uh, dogs? Doggies can enter? No. Maybe cows? Pigs? Hens? No, no, no. Then elephants, they can enter, right? Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Huh? So what? Uh... Yeah. Fine, as you wish, elephants can enter. Oh, cool. Tch. Goons gotta be goons. Eh, it's not like an elephant would come to the slums anyway. All rich company higher-ups. Are you stupid? Wait. Why am I even asking? Yeah, just take a look at this guy. He's wearing a silly disguise. Um, you sure? Take it off. 
Ah, uh, hey, that hurts. <clears throat> hey, it's you. Bergoon, you're fired. What? But, uh, but I did what you said. I'll just find another big guy with a bigger brain. You're useless. <laughs> you. Tis all your fault. Again! Mm -hmm. I'll make you pay for this. Uh oh, looks like I didn't make a friend. Gross. May I have a drink? No. I'm to see what we actually have. Oh, I have to be around. What a marvelous view. Oh, too much stuff. I have more urgent business to attend to. Still here? Ah, eh, you're wasting my time. Wait, I've got an important request. Important? For me? Or for you? Uh, depends. Just please hear me out. Ah, <sighs> all right, all right. But first, put your hand here. Why? Just do it. Okay. Now, let's see. Ah, my database search returned some results. Uh, what? What's wrong? You're a... a cop? Uh, well, not exactly. Nope. Oh, boy. Yep. fired that guy oh, please don't put me in jail it'd be a waste of my great intellect that's not what you think i'm no cop uh the police are understaffed i'm a detective they just needed my help huh. cops are detectives i hate both of your kinds anyway always messing with the lives of people trying to make an honest living with the black market Let's forget about all this and focus on my request. What makes you think I'll help you? Isn't it clear by now? You're alone. Your security system failed. And I'm, uh, let's say, stronger than you. Good point. All right, what do you need? A self-modifier chip. No questions asked. Fine. I can get you one. But these don't come cheap. It'll be 100,000 unis. One hundred thousands? You gotta be kidding. Hey, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Do you even have any idea what trouble I'm getting into in order to get one of these? This means you already have one here? Eh, me and my big mouth. Give it to me. No way! Give it, or else I might have to... Ah! Okay, okay, then 10,000 unis. It can't be any lower than that. That's how much I paid for it. We need to find another way. There is no way we can actually get that, uh, that for now. No, I can't afford that much. Surely I can offer you something else. Hmm, wait a second. That hand that you're carrying. What about it? To most people, this is an ordinary trinket, but I have a good eye for these things. I've seen that material before. It's made of heptamide. Heptamide? A very powerful alloy. An ounce of it can light up a whole city for a year. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. Give me that. No way. I'm not giving it to you. It has high sentimental value. Sentimental? <laughs> no is no. Find something else. Hmm. Then... I know. You're a cop. I said it. I'm not, really. Doesn't matter. You must have access to it. To what? The mainframe. 
There's a reason why I have those killing machines. Sure. You do illegal stuff. That's not it. The cops, they have a file on me. It contains my signature and other personal info. Due to this, all drones, cameras, and tribots automatically detect and report me. This makes my life impossible. I can hack into the system, but even a genius like me <laughs> can only get read-only access. If someone would remove that file... You could escape? I'll be free. No more bots following me at every corner. Ah, sounds good. But how am I supposed to do that? You're a cop. Getting access to the mainframe should be easy for you. Uh, not so sure about that. Get that file erased, and that chip is yours. Hmm. Won't there be a password or something? Yep. Face recognition. Find the computer owner's face and use this awesome app of mine. Face Builder Hacks. Easy as pie. Let me transfer it to your phone. Mm. Yeah. The heck? That phone of yours. What kind of ancient technology is this? The firmware and OS have been outdated for decades. Who cares? It works. Seriously? Okay. Take this phone. This has the app installed. It'll generate a holographic mask you can use to enter the system. For this, you'll need both a front-facing picture and a three-quarter view of someone who has access to the system. Front-facing and three-quarter view pictures. Check. Now, scoot. Don't you dare flee when I'm away. Remember, I'm a detective. I've found you once. I can do it again. And that day... No. Yeah, okay, uh, not moving. <laughs> Staying right here, stuck on his chair. You better. So now we have to actually erase the hacker's files in the police mainframe. I'm guessing we have to go to the police department now. Mr. Pork, your personal data is safe with us. Any information you share will be... Hello! Please stand on the appropriate floor panel for assistance. Floor? Panel? Yes, please do, visitor. I don't have time for this nonsense. Wes said I should meet him this morning. Checking. Affirmative. He had been awaiting you before leaving for an urgent mission. He required you to stay here and wait for his return. We always follow the Chief's orders to a T. But he made me a temporary cop. Checking. This information is true. However, you do not have the required permissions to access the Chief's office. Bummer. Where is he? This information is confidential. When does he come back? This information is confidential. Obviously. Well... I can't just sit around indefinitely. Hmm. Meeting Wes yesterday. This sure brought back memories. He was the inspector in charge of investigating Leah's death. All this time, I've been convinced. He's been hiding things. This may be my only chance. I need to find a way to enter his office. Ask us anything. Our automated agents will do their best to answer you. Enter. On this spot, you may request a special entrance to visit a cell, the cafeteria, or our offices. My office. We will welcome you 25 hours a day, every day. Stay here to order a drink. Too late to go back. Too dark. I can't tell if anyone's inside. Please, stay here to file a complaint. I don't remember this speaker. Affirmative. It was broken. We replaced it today. 
Without properly working cameras, sound is crucial for us to understand the visitor's requests. Hey! Hello, mister. Please, stand on the appropriate... Can we talk freely? No. You're not standing on the correct panel. Whatever. Are you a blind robot? What happened to your eyes? We do not have any eyes. You probably mean cameras. I guess. We were under maintenance, but due to the staff shortage, we were called back from our repairs. This is no trouble at all. Our microphone is functioning properly, so we can hear the visitor's requests and the chief's orders. Now, if you have a request, please stand on the appropriate floor panel. All right, all right. I'll press your darn buttons. Ask us anything. Was that... Wes's voice? Affirmative. Our chief has a lot of respect for our visitors. He insisted that he record these informational messages himself. That's, uh... unexpected. We love asymmetric cryptography, don't you? Am I not supposed to be the one talking? Our statistics indicate humans have tremendous difficulties choosing relevant conversations. Well, I have no intention of discussing crypto thingamabob. As you wish. So, uh, how can I get inside the office? Only a direct order from the chief would allow you to enter. A direct order from Wes? Affirmative. We always follow the chief's orders to a T. Mm. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Oh, I hope did it be more useful. Too dark. Enter. May I visit the inside of Wes's office? We're sorry. Visitors are not allowed in this area. I thought so. Then may I visit Sin? He's in jail. Are you a relative? Uh, a friend. Request rejected. <clears throat> My office. My office. My office. I wonder, what's your job at night? Guarding the place, cleaning the rooms, preparing the planning, validating rules, ordering materials, killing the prisoners. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. Wait, what did you just say about the prisoners? Dealing with the prisoners. Look after them. Right. We do not like you, but are required to ask anyway. Would you like a drink? Flowing water, sewage sludge, solid juice. Take. Whoa, it's flowing all right. A real waterfall. Gotta be careful not to spill it on my beautiful coat. Beautiful. If we could laugh, we would be rolling on the floor right now. Hey. You're a bot, and blind. You're not supposed to have taste, but I should. Exactly. Mis Mr. Pork? Even his recorded voice doesn't want to pronounce my name correctly. How does that even work? You're standing on a pressure panel. It can scan your footprints and connects to our database for identity retrieval. Easier identification makes procedures much more simple as well. Ah, uh, maybe I should start wearing shoes. Oh no, we can scan through shoes as well. Please. I don't remember this. A firm. Please. Tell me, what is your complaint? Screw that. You better get me to that bloody office, or else. This isn't an acceptable type of complaint. Please reformulate. Hmm. Really, please, your robotness? Allow me access to that wonderful room before I go off the rails. Complaint denied. Okay, that didn't work out. Time to find an end. Find a way, and seems like that blunt can only if you convince it or destroy it.
Well, this is the last hint that we could use. Mr. Pork. Of course, I just need to know what I'm doing. Mr. Pork. No. Lock. Access to this. Not. I'll find a way. Such confidence. Okay, that didn't work. Mr. Pork. Allow us to transfer you a copy of. Will this. Negative. Humans are. De Therefore. A lot of good. Please do not damage the material. Please. You are making a mistake. Please. A citizen has gone insane. Spanking is due. Looks like we have... That's not how I'm Not strong enough, there might be another way. Oh no, the bot decided oh well. Yeah, this is starting to get a little bit crazy. I don't remember this. Affirmative without prop. Shut tight. No chance of open. Please stop trying. How did you know? But we have. Nice. Hey. Still. Well, we have another ad. Press the panels in specific order a phrase the bot could understand. Please. Miss. Ask us. Enter. My off. Mr. Pork. Please. Enter. My office. Open all the time. When all the personnel are bots, that's not hard to achieve. We do not understand your query. Please reformulate. This wasn't a query, just a rant. We do not like you, but are required. Would you like a drink? Mr. Pork, please. Enter my office. Checking. The chief's order is confirmed. The office is unlocked for you. That means, uh, oh. can enter? Affirmative. Great! Advanced AI's my foot. May I have a drink? Unfortunately, yes. Blowing water, sewage, sludge, solid juice. Take. 
vats juice? I thought that it'd be liquid. Of course not. It's called solid juice. Doesn't sound easy to drink. One does nothing except craving for more. Um, uh, hello. Oh, Mr. Brock, what are you doing here? Do we know each other? You bet. I'm Grav's friend. Oh, yes, you're, um, um... Aunt! Sorry, my memory's faulty. That's one common point you share with Graf. Forgetting things is his specialty. Does he? Yeah. One day, he even forgot our teacher's name. You're his dad. Um, tutor, right? Uh, yeah. Any idea where the chief of police might be? Uncle Wes, he's out right now. Uncle? I've heard him referring to an issue with tox out pills. This will probably take a while. All right. I'm sorry to ask, but are you... A hybrid? Yeah. Every child inherits a race from either the father or the mother. Except me. I inherited genes from both of my parents. I've heard this happens once in every thousand births. Maybe even less. Might be a mistake of nature. Might be the pollution. All I know is... You're special. You bet. No matter how kind people try to be, they always look at me differently. This used to make me mad, but I got used to it. Yeah, I know the feeling. What do you mean? Long story. Hmm. If you don't mind, I've got a question too. What are you exactly? Croc? Or Gator? Wish I knew. You don't? Yeah, trying to solve mysteries and yet unable to find the truth about myself. Poor excuse for a detective, huh? Don't say that. You're just too busy helping others. Someday you'll find out. I'm sure of it. Thanks. I was supposed to be comforting him, but he ended up comforting me. Boy, I almost wish he was my son. Oh, what's wrong with me? I... I shouldn't think that. Graf is a good boy, too. He's just... more difficult, too. You okay? Yeah. I have another question. So, uh, Wes is your uncle? Yeah. It's so cool of him to accept me for this internship. Do you know him well? It's funny you'd ask this. To be perfectly honest, not that much. He's always super busy. I guess this comes with a job. He comes to family reunions, but he always ends up leaving for an emergency before even touching his plate. By the way, what business do you have with him? Your uncle, uh kind of forced me to join the police, temporarily. Seriously? Well, it's not such a surprise. You're an expert. Graf told me about you. Is that so? Yeah. Actually, he'd love to know what you're doing during the day. But he's certain it's awesome. He thinks detectives are super cool. And so do I. Is he talking about the same Graf? What about the talks out pills? I'm not sure, but... Apparently, there's a shortage going on. A shortage? I took mine this morning, so I'm good. At least for today. Don't worry. I messaged Graf this morning. He has one, too. Good to know. What about you? Well, I'm just sort of... immune to it. What? Immune? To the pollution? Seriously? Yeah. No idea how. One day, I just realized the haze didn't affect me, so I stopped taking them. I had never heard of anything like that. Even drummers aren't totally safe with the dome. Don't tell anyone, okay? The last thing I want is to be transformed into a laboratory croc. My lips are sealed. We do have a spare tox out pill. Thanks, I'm good. Well, let's actually talk about the computer. Say, uh, may I borrow your computer? I'd like to connect to the police main server. Sorry, Uncle West did not give me access. Besides, I doubt he would trust you with this. I've heard you're, um, clumsy. What a reputation your uncle is giving me. Actually, I heard this from Graf. Well... Oh. He seems like a genuinely good person. 
who has his share of trouble with life. I can see why he relates to Graf. Certainly glad they're friends. See ya. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? Anything wrong? You look like... Nothing, I'm fine. Uncle Wes said I should stay here until he comes back. It's my first day. I have to make a good impression. I've seen that face before. He needs to pee. Um... Where are you going? Just checking. Please don't. I promised my uncle I'd stay here to watch over his belongings. Okay. A bunch of decorations, prizes... On that trophy is written, Promoted Head of Office. Congratulations, Wes. Year 3030. 3030? The year we moved into the slums. Oh, I didn't have that one. Did you listen? Please. What's that box thingy? You don't know. A try home. It's a virtual assistant. You can ask anything. Uncle Wes lent it to me while he's busy. Sounds cool. Can I try it? Sure. Hello. You're a new user. What's your name? Who cares? Now registered as Who Cares. Whoops. Welcome. As a free customer level guest, your permissions are restricted to changing the room environment. Currently installed environments, space, waterfall, mountain. Which environment would you like? Space, waterfall, mountain. Uh... Waterfall? Whoa, how luxurious. Would you like to install new environments? Special offer, get new environments for 500 UNIS each. Limited to the first 10,000 customers. Get it before it's gone. You may also get the season pass for just 1,500 UNIS. This is the best way to ensure you'll get the new environments as soon as they're released. Uh, no thank you. And stop your blabbering, peddler box. Hello, who cares? Choose your environment. A malfunction has been detected. Error 1262X. No sound output. This may lead to a degraded experience. Please check your installation. Hello, who choose your environment? Hello, who choose your in- Sorry to bother you. Sure, it's- Seems like you're stuck here, huh? I'll get you a drink. I'm not particularly thirsty. Nonsense, no need to be polite. I'd never let a youngster die of thirst. Oh, okay. There you go, some water. Thanks, the water keeps flowing. Yeah. Cool, huh? Ugh. Well, now he has to pee, so... Hey! What's up, Mr. D so? I'm good. Shouldn't you be at school? The Konsk? Nah, I'm on internship today. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe you should, um... You know, let it go? You... noticed? Can't. I, I said. I won't touch anything. Cross my heart and hope to die. Huh. No, I. I always keep my promises. I can hold. No big deal. Ah, I pity him. Listen, I need to use your uncle's computer. What? Why? It's a bit of a long story, but this will help Graf. You know, about what happened yesterday. You mean, Graf losing the contest because you arrived late? Yeah. You shouldn't feel so bad about it. I'm sure you did your best. Besides, Graf can still take his exam. He's very clever. Still, I gotta fix my mistake. And for this, I need to access that computer. I don't really see the connection, but if you say this will help... Definitely. Although, I promised my uncle I wouldn't move from here to look over his office. And that's only my first day. I know Graf's future is at stake, but mine too. I can't take that risk. 
I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. I'll find another way. Sure. But do I really have a choice? I'll be around. Sure. Ugh. Hmm. We only have one ad. You might want to borrow that speaker from the police department entrance. Huh? Did you just lock... Yeah. Why? Uh, just afraid your uncle might suddenly come in. He's frightening. Not really. Oh. Uh... There you go. Oh, how I wish I was. That makes no sense. Sorry to bother. Sure. Here. For me? That is super nice of you, but I can't accept. Okay, uh... I don't get it. Are you trying to... No, better stop before... Nope. Come on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Huh? I thought you had brought that drink for me. I did. But now I got something better. I got you this. Great. I love solid juice. It's hard to find it in the slums. Glad to hear it. But I'm not very thirsty right now. Gotta go to the bathroom. I see. Hey, that chair seems to be covering something on the floor. Uh, what the? I can't push the- A wheel must be stuck. Crawling is out of the question. I wouldn't get a good enough view. And my back hurts. Time for the magnifying glass. Hey, this is really dirty. I'm just straining my eye. Actually, no. Would that be the... Uh, what the? I can't push... A wheel must crawling is... And... Uh, what the? A wheel must crawling is... And... Hmm. Hello. Choose your in A malfunction has been error. One to please check your in If she was here, she'd tell me to keep trying and something amazing might happen. But she's not here. Again. Sorry. Huh? I keep forgetting the Maybe I need to bring the speaker to Shay real quick. So let's do that. What's up? Do you need this? Hmm. Gotta go. Okay. So that wasn't right. And I don't want to have to like... We're just like at this point fumbling. Looks like I can't get a hint right now. I should collect some ads and scan them with my phone. Or I can rely... Well, first things first, I want to try to, like, get, uh... Back to max health, so that way we don't have problems later. Maybe I should... Look. All right. 
We have to explore the office a little bit more. So I guess we have to go that way. Um. Oh, uh, I. Right. Sorry. No problem. Mr. Brock! Okay, okay. We've kind of like looked at everything. <laughs> yeah, we're, we pretty much just like looked through everything. Again. Sorry. Huh? I, I don't know why the door was here. Too dark. Too dark. Hello, who choose your Hello, who choose your I don't want to actually use the hacking phone. Because that would just be weird. Yeah, no, we can't do that. But what's the speaker going to be for? We don't have any ads. I feel like I'm gonna have to, like... An Ot needs to use the restroom. Hey! What's up, Mr. D Come on! Maybe I need to actually... How's Technically, we are not alive. But there is a debate in the scientific community about... Yeah, yeah. Just me being polite. Hey, blind I didn't hear. Yeah. Such unreliable. What is it you want? Take. Do I really have to? This is your request. Uh -huh. Tastes as bad as it smells, so time for sewage sludge time. Sorry to bother. Sure. Come on. Mm. Hey. What's up, Mr. Come on. I have to drink this first. Mm -hmm. Huh? I thought you had brought I did. But here. That smells funny. Oh, uh yeah. I guess it's not the best. That's okay. I'm used to it. I live in the slums, remember? I just didn't expect that. Hmm. I'll be around. Sure. Uh huh? I thought you had brought I did. But oops. Oh. Uh, oh, you're checking for clues. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, exactly. Here. From that is super nice. Okay. Uh, I don't get. Are you trying? No. Better stop before. Uh, oh, you're checking. For gotta go to the bathroom. I see. The chair's stuck. Sorry to bother you. Sure. Shouldn't you be at the cons? Maybe. I'll be around. Sure. Ah. <laughs> Too dark. We're starting to, like, get a little bit, like, maybe we need to bring the hacker, the, uh, speaker. Who knows? Maybe it'll help. So. Hmm. Yeah, I forget it. But it's... 
I'll be back. If only you did. What? N nothing. Grand open. Grand. And then I would what? Yeah, I'm starting to get a little stumped. I might have to just actually start spending cash on uh more ads. Which I didn't really want to do, but I'm just right now a bit stumped. Okay, Bolt. Which ad? It's if you look in this room carefully, it's the bed. A toolbox. You don't need mine. Remember, and it autom Oh yeah. Which ad? So Brock's Hall. Let's see the back alley. We haven't gotten any of them. We haven't found anything in the Packer Street. We might as well, uh... Which ad? Which ad? So the mailbox, the Which job... Ad? So the mailbox, the job board, and... The floor crack. I should stay. Hey. All right, we need it. We're on ad hunts. The floor is all cracked. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped on it. But... Hey! Look at that! An ad was hidden underneath. Our mail... <sighs> it's shut. Almost feels oh, there it is. Hey, this probably came up with a chili con insect I ate in bed last night. Now there was one supposedly in the mailbox. Good. I missed something. There's one little ad stuck between two racks. Okay, cool. So now we got a couple more things. Uh, we might as well start ad hunting because we're getting very clueless at trying to find things. Which ad? Target. A toolbox. You don't need which ad. If you look products, get everything. Which ad? The basket. Which ad? Check this location, the acid. Alright, 
Alright, back into Drummer Street we go. Nice! So we found that one. In any case. here was mighty dangerous, but at least it was worth the reward. Ooh. Can't see anything new. I'm glad there's Yeah, sometimes it'll be a little bit more helpful to have like the arrow as well use a hint. So, the boy won't let you approach Wes's computer. Hey, if it were me, I'd just knock him down. But if my advice if you're... My advice? Focus on his urge to pee. So we gotta get more flowing water again. Can you get me... What's up, Mr. D I got you some. There you go. Thanks. The water keeps... Yeah. Ugh. Hey, use the assistant. This should help. Hello. Choose your... A malfunction. An error. What? Please check your... Okay. Hey, the waterfall sound... want to, but it's not letting... Use the chair at the center. Switch to action mode and push that chair violently. Miss 
Mr. Brock. What are you doing with this chair? Trying to get it loose. Okay. Looks like a socket for some kind of device. At the center of the room? Huh. Now we can put the speaker. There you go. Fits perfectly. Well, more or less. Hmm. Odd is making a weird face at me. But I think he's too busy restraining himself to feel concerned. I can't. Perfect. Good. Now I better act fast. Okay. Time for my favorite activity that I despise the most. Using a computer. Ooh. Oh, I didn't have that one. There, I've taken a picture of that circle. Hmm, I feel like I'm... Good idea. Hmm, there. But it's not enough. Where am I going to find a front view of the old man? I guess that's the area I should look at too. Hmm. Obviously, I'm not allowed. Identification. Yeah. There. Hmm. I feel like I'm. I guess that's the area I. Hmm. Obviously. Documents? They still use paper? Ah, a bunch of legal stuff. Staff contracts. Whoa. They're all dated from years ago. I guess Wes doesn't tidy up very often. Hmm. Huh? Some drawings? They're weird and crossed. I can't even make out what they're supposed to be. It's like someone tried to draw a suspect but couldn't. No matter what, that must be all. Oh? Something stuck beneath all this paper. Got it. Huh. There's a note attached to it. Hey, boss. I've noticed you stopped sketching for suspect search recently. Why? It's such a shame. You're the best artist among us. Regardless, here's something I came up with. It's all based on pictures of ourselves. I figured this could help you until you get your skills back. Hmm. Looks fun. Nothing. 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 Oh, it's still got some energy left. Nice. Two, three, one, three, one? Yeah, this definitely looks like Wes. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this button is for printing, but nothing's happening. Oh, I want to save it. That's the best picture I can make. Work in progress. That's right, you'll need a f Nope, is there a printer somewhere? Let's take a peek at what's in there. Ah, uh, what? Nothing. There's only dust. In this digital age, that shouldn't be much of a surprise, but I'm still disappointed. At least this simplifies my search. Glad to see even someone... Could there be something interesting in there? Ah, various electronic equipments. Uh, got no idea what most of these are. I'm not a technical junkie. Ha! Here's something I recognize. A printer. Hadn't seen one in years. Back at school. When it was still called school. Yeah, I'd feel old. 
Anyway, I got it out. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this button... Oh. Nope. Is there a printer somewhere? It's off. Wires from various equipment... <sighs> Here's the wire. Now I need to hook it up. What happened? There are some stains all over that socket. Even on the wall. Looks like it burnt. A power overload? <laughs> it's recent. Did someone put his finger in it by any chance? Nah. No one would be stupid enough to do that. Hmm. Seems to be the only socket around. Hopefully it still works. Yeah! Ready to give birth to paper babies. Not a... I heard something. Hey, it's totally a picture of Wes. Uh-oh, gotta hurry. Hmm. I'm holding that picture of Wes, but nothing happens. Did I forget something? Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm, I'm holding that guy for... There. Hmm, I feel like I'm... Everything okay? Yeah. Uncle Wes arrived. He's checking stuff in the jail. I'll go help him. All right. <sighs> so close. I can't give up yet. No time to waste. Is there anything that I'm missing? Hmm, I'm holding that picture of the guy for. Hmm, I'm holding the guy for. And I ran out of ads again. Not yet. We gotta commit. I guess that's the area I should obvious. Hmm. Using his favorite magna nothing. And hmm, that's a good snack. Work in prog. Hmm, it's exactly. I guess we need to lock the door. Hmm. I'm getting a little stumped and now I'm out of ads. This is just not literally the the best position. Really not the best option. Let's get a picture of that. Picture? Oh, 
2D picture analyzed, 3D model generated. The device is now displaying a holographic image of Wes. Nice. Yes, it worked. Hmm. Not much on this computer. I'm curious. What's in the trash bin? Two folders here. D. Silver and R. Filch. Darn. They're corrupted. I can't access the documents. Filch. Why does this have a familiar ring to it? Let's try this other icon. Lots of names here. Maybe some list of criminals? Yep. Found it. The gloom. How do I select it? Oh, yeah. Graph showed me once. Uh, there. And... Delete. Hmm. Is this enough, I wonder? <coughs> the hacker phone. It's ringing. <sighs> Hello? Anyone around? No, but... This is a secure line. Good job. Wait. How do you know? What do you think? I set up a watch notification in case of any changes on my file. Whatever. Will you respect your end of the contract? Yeah, the chip is yours. Though I don't feel safe with you carrying it all around. Tell me who, and I'll send it via a secure way. The slum school director. Got it. Oh, and this phone is gonna self-destruct, like, right now. Whoa! So much for recycling. What a waste. Better get out of here before... Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, uh... You said you needed me, right? Don't worry, Uncle Wes. I watched the place, just like you asked. Huh. <sighs> and that explains why you were outside. Sorry. I had to go to the toilet. But only for a minute. I just came back. Besides, you know, Mr. Brock is a good person. Is he now? Enough with the suspicions, Wes. I came here to help. Whatever. There are more urgent matters right now. We have a situation. An important scientist has disappeared over Engineer Lab 21. Unfortunately, I have other business to attend to, so I'm sending you. Along with my nephew. What? I'm going on a case. In the drums. Yes. I gave you special permission to access the dome today. I need someone trustworthy to watch over that detective. I'm right here, you know. An air car is ready to take you there. Awesome! I can't wait to learn from you, Mr. Brock. Don't get your hopes up, nephew. All I ask is that he doesn't screw up like he always does. I'll prove you can trust me, you old weasel. Come on, Hot. Let's go. It's here, the building right in front of us. Chapter 4, Who's the Brain? Let's look around. Sure. Where are you going, Mr. Brock? Now that's a cool hover bike. When I was young, I always dreamt of riding one of these. Still do, actually. That looks dangerous to me. I thought these were illegal. I uh, can't make a real living without some risks. Hmm. Don't tell me you're... Yeah, you just read my mind. Let's look around. Sure. Well, guess we're entering here. Lasers. Hmm. Maybe we sh Huh? Someone heard us. Let's enter. Who are you? We're here to investigate. No kidding, man. The chief of police said he'd send his best investigators. I didn't expect to see a darn croc and an ugly boy. <laughs> Watch your tongue. We're here to help. Uncle Wes sent us. You can call him to check. No point. I know the old weasel. I shouldn't be surprised. No time to waste. 
Fill us in on the situation. Yeah, I should have guessed it wouldn't take time for that either. All right, let's talk about the situation. One of the two engineers living here has disappeared. Living? Aren't they supposed to work here? Same. They never leave the place. What makes you think the situation is serious? I do regular room checks. During my last one, I just couldn't find Dr. Hutch. Couldn't he just be hiding somewhere? Man, don't take me for an amateur. I I've looked all over the place. Besides, the guy's medical device has stopped indicating any vitals for hours. <laughs> Maybe he arranged his escape and left while he didn't look. Impossible. As you've seen, lasers block the entrance constantly. Even the engineers aren't allowed to leave without permission, which is by request to us agents. Well, Dr. Hush didn't make any such request. That place sounds like prison. Nah, I know those intellectual types. They don't mind dedicating their whole life to working on their crazy projects. She is a good example of that. I'm pretty sure they asked for it. The croc is correct. They said to me once that studies have proven this way of living enhances creativity. To me, that's just an excuse to do whatever they want, but the heck do I know? The barriers are for their own protection from outside threats. Yeah, totally not paranoid. You should know. That fits the description of most drummers. Can't blame them with all those drones roaming outside. But they created this situation themselves. All right, let's talk about Dr. Hush. Anything you can tell me on that missing engineer, Dr. Hush? Just your average scientist in his 40s. Pretty sure his only family and friends are his bot prototypes. Bots? He's making them? Not exactly. He specialized in AI programming. He occupies the room on the left. When was the last time he was seen? I arrived this morning at 3 a.m. When I take my shift, I always check on them. He was there. So, you saw him? Are you certain? Yeah, in the flesh. Did he exit his room after that? Yeah, I saw him go to the restroom. His medical tracking stopped at around 5 a.m. That thing isn't very precise, so uh, it could have been one or two hours before or after. What? With all the advanced technology available, you'd think this would be accurate. It's called living privacy. Even if you're dead? I won't pretend to know your job, Croc Detective, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. You better darn well be alive. I can't afford losing my job. So let's talk about the lab. You mentioned two engineers, didn't you? Yeah, Dr. Mink is the other one. He's working on nanobots. Kind of the I-know-it-all type. How do they get along? They don't. They're like cats and dogs. Always bickering over stupid things. Yet, they've never asked to be moved to another lab. I guess it's just a game of rivalry. Uh, let's hope so. I've been meaning to ask, what's a squealer doing here in the drums? None of your business! Just mention it. I thought your clan had been banished from the whole country. What clan? I'm forbidden from regular jobs just because some others screwed up years ago? Well, I, uh... Shut up. You know nothing. I hate people like you. All focused on looks. Empty brains. Ooh, seems like a touchy subject. A squealer. Uh, given my recent experience, I'm not used to trusting those guys. Is he any different? I'll take a look around. Not too soon. You better solve this fast. I was supposed to finish my shift one hour ago. I won't get paid for this overtime. Hey, that's a collectible ad. That was probably the most obvious ad in the entire place. Coupon. What the? Oops.
Solve the case. Let's see. The recipient for the pipe? Huh. As empty as my willingness to examine it. Recipient for the a pipe mail in the middle of the hall. Those guys receive shipments all the time, mostly aimed for their material printers, but also their junk food. <laughs> it's very practical. Can't see anything special about it, but it's shut. Any way to open it? Nah, it's totally automatized and only goes one way. The only thing those scientists produce is information. They never need to send anything physically. Uh, makes sense. Uh, whose room is this? Dr. Hush's. The guy who disappeared? Let's have a look. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I have to wait for the end. An animated painting. I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Parts for experiments, maybe? Oh, there's an ad. Nice. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Some information is displayed. Tidy. 90% charged. Do not disturb until charge is complete. It's apparently been charging since 5.10 in the morning? That's Dr. Hush's? Seems locked. Oh. So this adds some kind of ramp? Energizing biscuits. Dr. Hush must have been eating them before disappearing. There are crumbs all over the table. Eve, you'd think scientists would be less clumsy. Some kind of grease spot. Tastes like coffee. Let's actually see the uh, robot. Energizing. Dr. Hush must have been eating the- Not the robot. This bot is the one displayed on the screen? I'll try turning it. Warning! Do not disturb until charge is complete. Oops. You should listen, Mr. Brock. Otherwise, we might damage it. Fair enough. Lamp. I know this model. It was pretty popular 20 years ago. Looks ugly. What could have made them so popular? Beats me. What's in there? Nothing in particular. What? All right. It 
won't open. Huh? I hear music. A loud beat. Pretty catchy. Go away. I'm busy. Huh. What's in there? The restroom. I'll have a peek. Hmm. No one's there. I'll examine this room later. Open. Now. Hey! Who the heck are you? Such a nice way to introduce yourself. Mind if I enter? Uh, of course I mind. I'm in the middle of something important. Like dancing? Hmm. I'm here to... Get out! Ah, mm -hmm. uh, well... You again? I'm a detective. I'm here to investigate. Oh, gosh! Hey! I paid all my taxes. Leave me alone. Stop it! Sorry. You're gonna break the please. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Hey, why didn't you open up? I... I... Answer the question. I, I was... busy. Huh? What the... Guard! Hey, what's going on? <gasps> Dr. Hush! Oh, this is... impossible. Oh my gosh. Is he... Well, case solved. But that doesn't make any sense. So much for looking all over the place, huh? I swear, he wasn't there. It's true. What the heck is going on here? I'll tell you what. Dr. Hush is dead as a doornail. That can't be. A murder in the drums? Now I get it. Mink, you wouldn't let me in when I checked this morning. Seems like you had a very good reason for that. Are you accusing me? You're out of your mind. There's a corpse in your room, man. What do you have to say about that? Now, now, relax. This murder case is in my hands. Let's not jump to conclusions. Guard, block all exits. Already done, Big Snout. Then block all communications from outside. Nobody enters or exits this building. And no data, either. On my way. And you, stay here. Don't move an inch. Oh, you can't be serious. I've got a ton of work ahead. I'm late on schedule. Hmm. Oh, of course a simple mind like you wouldn't understand it. Your colleague is dead. At this stage, all I can say is that you're a suspect. But even if you're innocent, what do you think might happen if I don't find the culprit? Who's to say you're not the next one on the list? Ooh. Mm, rats. Even dead. That guy keeps aggravating me. You're the only one who can explain the tech-savvy stuff, so... I'll save you time. I'll follow you around so you can keep an eye on me. Good. I'm impressed, Mr. Brock. Even with all that, you keep your cool. Uh, yeah? Did you already solve a murder case before? Not that I can remember. Um, but I watched some noir livies when I was young. Seemed like the appropriate things to say. Oh. Well, you're still pretty cool. Thanks. Uh, why is this happening to me? Can't I have a normal day for once? Is that blood? It looks stretched. What? Uh, something wrong? Oh. A 
ray of light? Yep. Ten feet of enjoyment. Ever heard of ray therapy? The hot temperature reduces stress and prevents aging. Could this be used to hurt someone? At maximum power, it could burn your skin. Not killing someone, though. Maybe if you were to spend years underneath it. Ugh, really not my kind of art. You have no taste. Don't tell me. These are... uh... things. Nanites. Also called nanobots. Yeah, close enough. What are these for? Are you serious? We've been using them for ages. Now that you mention it, I think Leah used them in conjunction with medicine. Yes. Their main usage is health. Inject them, and they can repair your body from the inside. Neato. Well... There's a recurring rumor in our nanobot community. A scientist would have succeeded to take direct control of a host through the use of nanites. Sounds scary. Indeed. But let me reassure you, this never happened. If someone had truly made such a discovery, he'd be the most famous scientist in the world. So you didn't? I wish. Oh, I didn't have that one. Yes, you could strangle someone with those wires? See any strangulation marks on the body? Not really. Watch out! Huh? I'm working with acidic solutions. Better not put a finger in it. May I put a leg in? No! Hey, that's a collectible ad. Let's just keep continuing with the... Night. Flowers hanging from the ceiling are leaking into this sink. The juice from Hengalus Wallace boosts focus and memory. Oh, it's so refreshing. I just can't do without it. Want some? Definitely. Help yourself. Hmm. Feels like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's eating cakes with all the flavors in the world. Right? Hmm. Delicious. Hmm. Uh, hey, hold on. With a high concentration in your body, Weird things start to happen. But it's so good. Hmm. I want more. Huh? My voice. What happened to it? I told you. Now you'll sound like a little girl for the next few minutes. Oh well. It was worth it. <laughs> what? Wait! Don't do this! Do it. You have any idea what you've just done? This was my ration for today. Now I'll be all out of juice. I... I'll have to lick the whole surface of the sink this evening. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's an addict. Yeah, the ad's like right there. Hey, there's an ad stuck in the drain. That power socket, it's burnt down. Oh, that's right. I tried hooking up an ancient bot the other day to help me with handling materials. Bad idea. It fried as soon as I hooked it up. What bot? Does it matter? I threw it away a week ago, so it's irrelevant to what's happening. All the other bots in this facility are modern. 
You mean only old bots can cause this? Yeah. Manufactured pre autarchism day, I'd say. Interesting. Looks like he's been hit right there. With enough strength, could be enough to kill. What's this? Some kind of apparatus? Ah, oh, I see it now. That's one of those old fashioned lamps, right next to the body. No breathing. Poor guy. Looks like he was bludgeoned from behind. I should take a closer look at that stain. Empty pockets. I've rarely seen dead bodies. But I would have thought he'd be more stiff. Whoa! His hand is literally covered by nanites. I better write this down. Hmm. It's exactly... Th hey! I'm just straining my... Hmm... Blood? That would make sense if it bumped into his head. Hmm... I can't see anything important. Nice hands, though. He's not holding anything, but... Huh... There's some black stains on his fingers. Blood here? Maybe it got there after the impact. Looks like he's been hit right with enough str- Dr. Mink, I have a few questions to ask you. I was afraid you were going to say that. But first, Please swear to tell the truth. Of course. I always do. Liars always end up contradicting themselves and revealing the truth. I do not want to waste time. Neither mine nor yours. Very well. How long have you been working here? Since I majored in research. About five years ago. We've both been selected to join this high-ranked facility. The kind of opportunity that you can't turn down. So you've known each other for a long time? Yes. Although we've never really been close. Does this mean you don't like each other? No, that's irrelevant. We just do our jobs and are entirely dedicated to it. We dedicate our lives so that humanity can progress. No friends? No family or children either? <laughs> Loving a single person. Raising a handful of individuals. We cannot afford to live such a petty life. We will be immortalized for our work forever. It will impact the lives of thousands, possibly even millions. Or just like the small amount of people that are in this game. But, but, but. No, but I made this choice years ago and I never regretted it for a second. What a sad way to live. Let's talk about Dr. Hush. What can you tell me about Dr. Hush? He's my, well, he was my colleague. He was dealing with macro robotic while I'm dealing with Nano. We've been selected to work in the same building, as we're complementary. And how is your relationship lately? I see where you're going. Yes, it was a bit tense. Why? Well, the government started shifting the funding to scientific projects. In particular, they reduced the budget for nanotechnology projects in favor of AI research. So this directly impacted your experiments? Listen. That's true. We've always had some disagreements. But even with the budget alterations, I didn't hold a grudge against him. Actually, he's the one who changed. He barely talked to me anymore. And when he did, the situation got tense. Lately, I could swear he was even trying to avoid me. I just figured he was too busy. But now, oh, I could never imagine he would end up like this. Interesting. So, uh, what kind of scientist are you? I specialize in nanotechnology and biology. Anything that can help humanity to live longer. We've been studying them for decades. However, a groundbreaking discovery was made in... Uh, sorry, Doc. 
I'd prefer to stick to the matter at hand. <laughs> Any idea what could have happened? Honestly, not the slightest. I was here all day. He wasn't. I'm sure of it. Well, the corpse is in the middle of your room. You should have seen him enter at some point. No, I, I swear. It's like he magically appeared behind me when you entered the room. Magic, huh? I know how this sounds, but you've got to believe me. Right now, I don't believe in anything other than facts. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. Hmm. There isn't really anything. The possibility could be... Ah, the robot's fully charged. That thing. It's blinking green. Does this mean... YOLO! Huh? <gasps> You seem surprised and unsafe. Do not worry. I do not fight. I am glad to see a new face. It has happened zero times since I was born. Oh, so you're... Dr. Hush's assistant, Tidy. I tidy things up, left, down, right. Yup, yup. I see. Someone's excited. Mind if I ask a few questions? I do not, do not mind. So, Dr. Hush built you? Yup, yup. He's my daddy. We love daddy. Where's my daddy? Um. He's dead. Hey, show some compassion for the little guy. What guy? He's a piece of junk. Daddy dead? Well, seems so. We're trying to understand what... Dead daddy! Daddy dead! Dead 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 daddy! Uh, I thought you'd be... A, a little less joyful? Told you. The thing has no feeling. Oh! Oh no 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 no! It means no see daddy again? Dead daddy? <sighs> When did you see your daddy for the last time? Morning, 5.04. What was he doing? Daddy, away. Exit room. Did he say anything when leaving? Yup, yup. Retrieving record. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. What? Okay. This is impossible. Dr. Hush never even came to my office today. Then how do you explain the fact that he's in your room currently? I don't know, but that bag of screws is lying. I'm gonna tear him apart until... Calm down, or I shall calm you down myself. <laughs> Tell me, what can you do, Tidy? Tidy can tidy. Yes, and? Tidy can stretch arms like this. Or this. That's pretty cool. I admit it. This must be useful. Hmm. Can you bend them? Ridiculous! Bending <coughs> robot? No. Vertical. Horizontal. No bend. Daddy cannot. Try. No make. Work. Now. Dead daddy. Um, Tidy? You're bending them right now. Uh-huh. Yes. My mistake cannot bend while extending arms. Oh, so what's the exact use? Moving arms, very efficient. No full body move. I see. Must be more practical to grab things scattered in a room. Look, uh, I know it's hard. Well, maybe not because you're not alive, but anyway, I gotta ask. Did you hurt your daddy? Hurt daddy? I cannot. Not, not, not. No way. Uh, why are you smiling while saying that? Uh, uh, 
bug, bug. Changing expression. <laughs> da, da, <dee. laughs> I just can't analyze it. It, him, uh, <laughs> I don't know anymore. He's telling the truth. How can you tell? He keeps changing his face. Daddy is good. No, Daddy is best. I couldn't care less about his body language or that spouting nonsense. No robot can harm his creator. Ever. That's the golden rule. Care to elaborate? Surely you've seen all those fantastical lives with robots rebelling against humans. Years ago, when the scientific community started designing bots, they took this into consideration. There's a golden rule. It's implemented in the hardware, encrypted deep within their AI core, and replicated throughout all their parts. No robot can attack their creator. That's true. We've learned this at the Konsk. We do not love Daddy. We do. Okay, so they can't harm their creators. But those pieces of junk sure can harm me. I've had to get my way through Tribots more than once. Of course, there are varied levels of permissions. Permission? Too tidy. Shh! Stay here. The standard bots, close family and friends, are included in a second layer to that rule. Police and military Tribots are designed for battle and may attack anyone who is considered a threat. This varies according to model. However, the golden rule is always there. Besides, we've never had any accident. Until today. <laughs> never say never. Life has taught me there's always a first to everything. What were you doing at the time, Tidy? Charge! Power to Tidy! Wait, you said you recorded Dr. Hush while you were charging? That's weird. You were totally shut off when I first found you. Tidy, several phases of sleep, like human. Dr. Mink, is that even possible? Yes, we don't shut off machines immediately to compress the data of the day. The same way, it takes several steps before full awakening. But you still shouldn't listen to that bot. It's trying to confuse you. Did your sensors record anything else? Nothing. Unusual. Hmm. What makes you so certain that Dr. Hush respected the no killing convention? Simple. An algorithm thoroughly checks. Algo? Rhythm. Dance. YOLO. Okay. This robot is literally starting to become more and more sus than it needs to be. It's hardly the moment to dance, Tidy. Anyway. If he didn't comply, he wouldn't be able to communicate with the exterior. Okay. Anything else? Tidy can carry objects, do repairs, make phone calls. Tidy has sensors to detect humans and objects. Calculate shortest path. Useful to bring the coffee, I guess. Also, Tidy can strip clothes what uh. daddy likes getting naked uh this is a little loaded what did he just say <laughs> this is extremely loaded please naked uh, no no that won't be necessary either he's got a screw loose or dr hush is an exhibitionist i wonder <laughs> Mr. Brock, what are you writing? Well, uh, it's a clue, so... Daddy, all naked. Yup, yup. This seems like a sympathetic bot, though. I don't really trust those artificial beings. He may be hiding something. I need to find the truth. That should be enough for now. Enough, 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 enough. Got work to do. Wait! I forbid you to touch anything! Not daddy! Not listening! Get lost! Yup, yup! What? You little piece of- Tidy, stay here. You should not mess with anything right now. 
Okay, Minky. He obeys you? Of course. Can't say I like it, but that thing is useful. I'm in his close acquaintances list. Oh well. As long as he doesn't move. Alright. Now that we've done that, maybe we should check the bathroom. Let's see. This is, um, a shower? What? No, a showlet. You mean, this combines a shower and a toilet? Oh, I get it now. You're from a far away country, right? <laughs> Something like that. I've been out of touch with the technology advances lately. Well, it's a huge space and time saver. Enter the cabin and let it take care of you. The robotic hand removes your clothes, then feel free to let it go while it washes you. When finished, it gives you new clothes. Seems convenient. Clothes. Ugh, they're smelly. Don't touch that. A maintenance bot will do the laundry. So... Of course! Isn't that a waste? We don't really need to wash and change clothes that often. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. I know! Maybe we could improve it by separating both functions. You would then have a toilet on one side, and a shower on the other. That way, we could sell it for twice the price. <laughs> the cycle of modernity. I remember this. A holographic display to watch Livy's. Wow. To watch a livey, say or think meaty, followed by the title. Hmm. You're not seriously considering it, are you? I sense someone disagrees with your choice. Would you still like to start watching hilarious fairy tales? Um, no thanks. Thoughts detection still doesn't work very well. Yeah, must be that. Are available. This is a window. I'm working on. Let's look at the map. Map of the building. I'll take it. It's hard to believe high tech facilities still use hard paper maps. Makes sense in the eventuality of a power breakdown, though. Inside, there's tons of coffee. Powder, more precisely. What did you expect? Dunno. A toothbrush, maybe? Toothbrush? Like a brush to clean our teeth? How silly! Why not a feet brush, then? Their water is so full of chemicals that they lost their need for it. Nice! An ad coupon. Yep, there was coffee in there. So, what does this mean? That someone drank coffee? Oh, I would have thought someone was in the restroom recently, and you'd ask the staff who drank it. Yeah, sounds good. Did you drink that coffee, Mink? It's Dr. Mink for you. And yes. When, exactly? Around 4.40. I always get a bit peckish during Techno Junkie. Is that some kind of show? Yes. It lasts for 30 minutes approximately, so I must have went out of the restroom at around 5. And the robot was charging at like 5.10. So... A box of ants. Alive. My favorites. Very fresh and crunchy. I thought you'd use them for experiments. We do, but nothing wrong with taking a snack sometimes. 
I'm starting to like you. The energy serum. One for the glory. Hey! You can't steal that! Not stealing. I'm, uh, gathering clues. There's an energy serum. There's more food. A pizza covered with your favorite bugs. Immediate special attack. A wardrobe on this side of the fridge. Nothing unusual, but... Oh my. Those clothes are one heck of a pack. You couldn't even fit a paper between them. Trash grinder. I wonder why the blades are so close to the surface. I wonder if anything passed through here. If there was, too late to find anything. The trash gets compacted and sent directly to the slums dump. A necessary evil. We're stronger due to this. Don't tell me you're a slumber. Uh -huh. Of course not. What do we have inside? Huh? A button? That's all? Of course. What did you expect? Usually our health chip will detect any problem and send whatever we need immediately. This button is only for use in extreme situations, which are technically unthinkable. Like a power outage, a meteorite falling down, or even... Oh. A fire? Yes, even less probable. Press this and you'll get a package delivered to the closest pipe Provide health cure basics. If such a situation happened, would you even know how to use that minimal package? Hmm. Probably not, but who cares? It's not like it's going to happen anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing? Try pressing harder. Remember, this is for emergencies. Hmm. Uh, I heard a sound. You sure? All I could hear was a bump caused by your fist. Only one way to find out. So, where's the package? Whoops! I think we've examined everything in this area. Oh, there it is. An energy drink? You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I thought communication was out. Hey, buddy, you pressed the emergency button, didn't you? Emergency calls are never cut off. Oh, good. I'm always thirsty. The recipient for the... Huh. Using his favorite nothing. Hmm. The recipient for the... Yeah, I think I may have now made a misplay on that. You okay? Well, I didn't expect to investigate a murder on my first day. It's both neat and kind of scary, knowing there's a killer around us. You don't mind me staying close? Of course. Thanks.
coffee. What are you doing? Just checking what could have sunk in there. Smells like coffee. Great. What restroom doesn't have its coffee machine? Knowing them, I bet this produces other drinks, too. No, just coffee. Really? We don't need anything else. Designing it for other uses would be a waste of resources. Uh, good point. <laughs> An ant. Hmm, that's a good snack. Hmm, it's exactly the same. Dr. Mink, what's your relationship with Tidy? He's the maintenance bot. He just comes and goes doing housework. Did he come today? No. Until your arrival, no one entered my office this morning. Are you certain? Hmm. Actually, the guard did check if everything was okay, like he always does. But he didn't enter. I've noticed the doors close automatically. How does Tidy open them? Just like us, he pushes the buttons. Free to roam around, then? Yes. Well, except my room. I deny him access. He must knock at the door first. Then I allow him entry. How come? You know, I don't want a bot bursting into my room in the middle of the night. That would be creepy. Says the creepy scientist. You said Tidy was lying. Is a bot truly capable of lies? Usually, no, but I never programmed it. Keep in mind, Dr. Hush was doing AI experiments. This could also be the result of a bug in the core. Tidy could believe what he says is the truth, based on false information. But you heard the recording. It was Dr. Hush's voice, wasn't it? Hmm, I don't know. Yes, it sounded exactly like him, but well, there must be some explanation. Yeah, I just wish you'd give me one. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others. Hmm. Art seems to have an idea. Let's see what he's got. What do you think so far? I've solved this. Really? You haven't? Uh, well, I'd like to hear your conclusion first. Okay, let's gather everyone in Dr. Ming's room. So, what's going on? Found the culprit? I'm going to let my colleague here explain. Huh? Me? You said it. You've solved the case, haven't you? Um... He's just a boy. No, it's true. I can explain. All right, so this is a closed door murder. As you know, no one could enter or leave this place without being noticed, which means only one of us could have done it. Yes, the body was first seen when we entered this room. It appears Dr. Hush has been struck on the head and died due to the impact. Considering there's blood on the lamp located right next to him, this must be the murder weapon. This lamp belongs to Dr. Mink. This implies the murderer had access to it. I don't like where this is heading. Dr. Hush was last seen alive by his assistant bot, Tidy. He never came back to his office. So where did he go? The possibilities are limited. Again, he could not leave the building. The only exit has an impassable power barrier. He couldn't have exited his room and stayed in the hall. It wouldn't make sense. Mr. Guard would have noticed it. Hmm. Any comment? No. I was watching the whole time. Nothing unusual happened. Let's continue. Dr. Hush could have gone to the restroom and been killed there. But that leaves one problem. We didn't find his body there. But in Dr. Mink's room, this means he would have had to be carried to the next room without anyone noticing. If he somehow got carried out of the restroom, Mr. Guard would have noticed it. We've checked the restroom. There's no access between it and Dr. Mink's room. So that leaves only one option. Dr. Hush went straight from his office to Dr. Mink's. Nonsense! He never came here. And yet, here's his body. 
How do you explain it? I don't know. I considered other possibilities. Maybe Tidy got involved somehow. After all, he's free to roam between the rooms for his cleaning duty. However, he could not access Dr. Minx's room. He's required to knock, and you need to open it. That didn't happen, right? No, unless he used Dr. Hush's hand to open the door. Carrying it in the hall? Seems improbable. The guard was watching. As for you, Doctor, you didn't see or hear them enter. How about you, ratty? I bet you killed the doctor in the hall and plopped his remains into my room behind my back. Who are you accusing me now? Why'd you think I called the cops if I was the murderer? To disculpate yourself. That's why. You dirty rodent. I'll lose my job because of you. This is the rodent. Calm down. I thought about this too. But that idea seems doubtful. Do you seriously think he opened your door with Dr. Hush's body in his hands and then threw it all the way there without you noticing? <sighs> Which leaves only one person who could do it. You, Dr. Mink. Ah, you're out of your mind, boy. I said it. I've never killed anyone. Drop it, Mink. You're done for. Drop? Up, down, left, right. And what would be my motive? Very simple. Mr. Guard mentioned hearing constant arguments between you both. We've been bickering over the past five years. That's no proof. Remember, Tidy's recording. Dr. Hush came to your room to settle things with you. He must have been fed up of hearing you complain about the budget restrictions on your projects. You seriously think this is a valid reason to kill someone? You're right. It wouldn't. For ordinary people. But you're entirely focused on your work. This is all your life. You can't afford to lose it. Dr. Hush profited from a higher budget while yours decreased. Tensions moved up a notch. You couldn't take any more. You grabbed the closest thing within reach. Your lamp. And then... Bam! Ah. This was most likely an accident. You hadn't prepared for this. So you didn't know what to do with the body. Panicking, you hid it under your bed. This would give you time to think. Under the bed? Only an idiot would do that! Seems like the best hiding spot to me. Guard, what do you think? You check the room regularly, right? Hmm... I did, but the weasel wouldn't let me in. If the body was under the bed, then yes, I wouldn't have seen it from here. You can't prove any of this. Sure we can. Right there. A trace of blood on the floor, exactly between the bed and the body. Why else would that be there? What the... it's true! There was only one way to make him disappear without anyone noticing. The acid canister. To liquefy the body and pour it down the sink. No! I never... these are for my experiments. When we arrived, you would just move the body out of your bed to throw the deadly substance on the poor chap. Remember, Mr. Brock, he wouldn't let us in. Which makes perfect sense now. Mr. Detective, please, don't tell me you agree with this. Yeah, but, if the, but there has to be another way for the murder to... It could be that he could have dropped from the ceiling. And maybe the light was actually his. So there has to be something else that we're not looking. Mm. Mm. So, have you been paying attention? You know, I've been wondering something for a while now. What are you looking at? Your tie, Dr. Mink. There's a red stain underneath it. What? Hey, the croc is right! But wait! This isn't what you think. I... I ate an ant burger this morning. I wiped the stain away. I just forgot to check under here. This is tomato sauce. Are you taking us for fools, Mink? Hey, wait. What the heck? <laughs> My tie! You... licked it? Hmm. At least... You believe me now, don't you? <laughs> Oh my, what are you doing, Mr. Brock? Brocky is gross. Mm. 
Just as I thought. This is no blood. Told you. Not just on your tie. There's no blood on this corpse. What? The heck? Are you serious? Check it for yourself. No. I believe you. But then, my theory... Has faults, I'm afraid. Gigantic ones. Oh. I had a feeling this seemed way too perfect. This case is more complex than we thought. Someone's been trying to cover himself. What a relief. However, this means we took the wrong approach. Don't tell me. We need to re-examine this place from top to bottom. No way! Are you aware I'm not getting paid right now, Croc? Oh, I should be home, sleeping! I don't care. This may be one more hour of work for you, but this could mean the death penalty for the one sent to jail. Exactly! And your insistence to leave makes you even more suspect to my eye. Ah, better be gone before I... Tidy, you better go back to your room. And no tidying, okay? Tidy follows orders. Gone. No tidy. Thank you, Mr. Detective. You saved my skin. Don't congratulate me too soon. You may still very well be the culprit, just trying to confuse us to appear innocent. Hmm. I'll just have to put my trust in you, then. When you're done, and you've got a plausible theory that doesn't involve me this time, come and see me. Come on, Not. We better examine each and every detail thoroughly this time. Yes, sir. Well, we actually got a little bit more and we figured that there's more to this uh, mystery that meets the eye. But I'm actually going to call it there for now. So, though we will continue more of chapter 4 another time and in another stream so until then everyone this is light brother and i always want to thank you again for uh coming by even if you just want to lurk uh all episodes of brock the investigator and every other past stream that i've done uh will also be available on my youtube as soon as uh the stream's done as usual um youtube.com slash light brother which is pretty much my entire consistency with uh, every site but yeah that's just going to be it for this time, this round of Brock the Investigator, and we will hope to continue with more of Chapter 4 uh, next time. So until then, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm hoping that you are having a fantastic day.